So I've been using the Galaxy S8 since it came out, about two and a half years ago. And uh, I think it's time for a change. I've got myself an upgrade, and I've got a little something for you guys as well. I think you'll like it. Let's get started. People ask me all the time why I don't change my phone more often, and the answer is pretty simple. Phones haven't really changed a whole lot in the last two and a half years. Yeah, small incremental upgrades with each new version of the phone, but nothing earth-shattering has occurred, nothing that warrants a thousand dollar upgrade. This Galaxy S8 Plus still handles every app that I throw at it just fine. Funny story about the yellow coloring on the back of my phone. About a year ago, I tweeted that if dbrand changed the very boringly named carbon yellow to bulletproof banana, I would skin my phone in it. And they actually did it. So here we are, man of my word, and to this day, carbon yellow is still called bulletproof banana on their website. Okay, so the S8, while it's still working great, does have some flaws after two and a half years. The first of which is this crazy burn-in on the screen. The keyboard is very permanently burned into the display of my Galaxy S8, and it does get a little distracting when watching videos or doing basically anything. So that's kind of a bummer. My screen brightness has always been on auto. I hope Samsung has figured out how to avoid this in future versions of their phone. I also intentionally never put a screen protector on my phone when I bought it, so I could see how scratched the glass could get with everyday use. This is Gorilla Glass 5 after two and a half years. It's got lots of little scratches at a level six and a couple deeper grooves at a level seven. This was a real world two and a half year long scratch test. There's also, you know, normal battery life issues. I've had this phone for about a thousand days now and I consider myself a pretty heavy user. So the battery life has decreased to the point where I need to charge it up every night as well as every afternoon. Not a big deal, I could replace my battery, but that would compromise the water resistance and I'm always around chargers. So I've just left it as is. The biggest issue I have is that my earpiece speaker is going out in the phone and it's hard to hear people when on phone calls and I don't really wanna be that guy who's on speakerphone all the time. Yeah, I could fix any one of these hardware issues by just replacing a component, but while they are inconvenient, none of them are deal breakers all on their own. If I wasn't doing YouTube and my job wasn't all online doing emails, making videos, social media, and all that stuff, I would keep using my Galaxy S8 for a while longer. But since my phone is a tool for my job, I can justify getting a new one. I have gotten a lot of questions as to why I don't make my own device clear, since, you know, clear is the best color. There are a few major downsides to modifying your own personal daily driver. The glass could crack, which is a very real possibility for someone who hasn't done it before. Glass is glass and glass can break. There's also the losing your warranty thing and more importantly, losing any water resistance that might come with the phone. That's the biggest thing. Since manufacturers aren't making transparent phones, I've been working on a way to get transparent phones to all of us while avoiding those pitfalls. And I think we figured it out. These are all fully transparent looking phones that have no voided warranties, no cracked glass, and no compromised water resistance. Dbrand and I have spent months finding a way to bring these clear phones to you. We call it Teardown. And as of right now, this very second, we have skins ready to go for almost every major smartphone, including the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. I'm pretty excited about this. OnePlus doesn't make their batteries red anymore, so we went ahead and did it for them with the teardown skin. The red battery is back, which adds like all kind of horsepower, I'm sure. It took months to get the scanning and printing process just right, compensating for the curve that most smartphones have, and getting the image up to our standards took quite a bit of work. Plus, we added little different Easter eggs into every phone. Every device is gonna be a bit different because the skin is an exact representation of what's going on inside of the phone. This is a limited edition drop, only live for one week starting today, since we have to get them all made and shipped by Christmas. With so many smartphones out there all looking the same, we know that true beauty lies on the inside, and now the insides are on the outsides. I have a skin covering my new Note 10 Plus as well. You can see here how there's a direct correlation between the speaker grill and the port on the outside of the phone, as well as the USB-C port with the bottom of the phone, the vibrator motor, the frontier piece, and even the camera unit. We had to buy some crazy cool machines to get this level of detail, and every skin is unique to the device that it's covering. If you're the type of person who always has a case on your phone, the teardown skins also work with the D-brand grip, so you get the protection of a case while still showing off the insides. I decided to go with Samsung, once again for my daily driver, not because they're the best, they probably aren't anymore. I'm just used to Samsung, and I mostly just wanted a bigger screen and the triple camera setup. So here we are. The grass isn't always greener on the other side though. I assumed all of my apps would just start working when I uh, switched over to the new phone, but I can't for the life of me get my Gmail emails to come in automatically as soon as I receive them. 
I've tried everything, and it seems like a very weird flaw to have on a phone that costs $1,000. So a new phone isn't always the best phone. A clear phone, however, is the best phone, so go check out my new line of teardown skins at dbrand.com. It has all of the perks without any of the risk. Win-win. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.